Hello everyone, my name is Asmo and welcome to uh, another video on how I fix my blue screen of death with Elgato. Uh, so I figured you guys would uh, th like to have a follow-up considering uh, it, it didn't fix, my previous video didn't fix it for me. It did for two days and then it returned to being horrible. So this is how I actually 100% fixed my blue screen of death and hopefully this will help all you people who weren't able to get rid of the problems that they had. So what you got to do uh, is you have to go to your configuration screen. Just type in, just type in configuration in your uh, taskbar. Type it here, configuration. For me it's Dutch, but it should be the first one. It should look something like this. Go in there, go to hardware and sound. It might sound a little bit different, but go to hardware and sound. And then when you're there, you have to click uh, the behavior on, of your on off button. You have to go there. And then you'll find something over here called uh, fast startup, which is recommended, but I actually don't recommend. Because what it does is it, it keeps all the data of your previous session and keeps it all clumped up and it keeps just hoarding all that information. And what happens is that the Elgato app can no longer work with it. And, what it, and that results in the blue screen of death. So in order to turn this off, I already have it off because, you know, but in order to turn this off, you have to click this for settings. You can't use right now. Just click that and go to this and turn it off. And once you're done, click uh, save changes and you're done. Now, if you don't have the 4K app installed, I do recommend also installing that. I don't know if it has anything to do with the blue screen of death or not, but having the 4K app and not the old one that, that I used to have seems to have worked. It also makes it a lot easier to stream or record videos because you don't have to switch screens with, um, uh, with that one, which I usually had to. And there's no longer a delay. Just make sure that you have your uh, either your Switch, your PlayStation or your Xbox on before you turn on the app. Hopefully this helped you guys. Let me know in the comments if it did. I know it fixed everything for me when it comes to uh, the Elgato problems that I had. And I hope to see all you lovely people in the next video. And remember, like, subscribe, and obey. Ta-ta!